Good morning to you this morning. The Thanksgiving holiday travel rush is picking up. Today is shaping up to be one of the busiest travel days, whether you're flying or driving. And our team of reporters are staying on top of it for you. News 8's Evan Ronnie is live at San Diego International Airport. And Chris Grow keeping an eye on the commute. We start with Evan. Good morning. Hey, good morning, Eric and Stella. That's right. We've just started to see traffic kind of picking up here at San Diego International. I want to show you the view behind me. We, of course, are expecting that big rush to kind of pick up right around now as that first batch of flights heads out at 630. So in about an hour from now. Now, today and Sunday are expected to be two of the busiest travel days of the year. People are excited, of course, to be spending time with their loved ones over Thanksgiving after what's been a two year hiatus for some. And although TSA warns of long lines and delays, the travelers that we spoke with say it is all worth it. They are excited to be able to spend this time with family. I wouldn't trade it in for anything. This is one of the best times of the year uh, to be able to get, get together with family during the holiday season. It's priceless. Now, the TSA says they've screened a record number of daily passengers. That was on Friday with 2.2 million people traveling through security checkpoints just on that day alone. They say today and Sunday will be even busier. So a couple reminders, make sure to check the rules of where you're traveling. Some destinations are still requiring proof of vaccination or have different mask requirements in public places. And you don't want to be caught off guard, of course, as the weekend comes about with those mask requirements, for example. Now, according to CBS News, about 40 percent of TSA workers have not submitted proof of vaccination, which could risk termination. But the TSA administrator says numbers have improved greatly and to not be worried about spending more than 30 minutes in line at that security checkpoint. Of course, add on the time you need to maybe check a bag or two, and you're looking at an hour or two ahead of your flight to arrive and have enough time to get through. But the travelers that we've spoke with have said they have gotten here with more than enough time, and they've been able to kind of breeze through these security checkpoints and the checked baggage lines. So we wish you the same if you're traveling uh, through the air this holiday weekend.